Hello chess enthusiasts, my name is Miha and welcome to my Chess Realm YouTube channel. Another interesting game from the Abu Dhabi Open Tournament from the third round as White playing Eric Rosen as Black Badur Yobava. Let's see what happened. Eric Rosen started with e4, d6, d4, knight to f6 and we have Pierce defense. White plays knight to c3, e5, knight to f3 and now uh, knight from b goes to d7, transposing into some sort of a Philidor defense. And now normal development moves were played, bishop goes to c4, bishop to e7, white castles king side, and black does the same. And now rook to e1, taking over the in fire, black plays h6, preventing any uh, unpleasant knight to g5 for bishop to uh, g5. And now white uh, continues with a4, threatening with a5, uh, advancing with uh, a pawn. Well, it wouldn't be actually anything wrong if black would allow this. But apparently black doesn't like this setup, so uh, a5 was played, uh, blocking this a pawn. And while white continues also with h3, preventing any uh, knight to g4 or bishop to g4 jump. And now black continues with rook to e8, countering white rook on the e file. Uh, white continues with the development, bishop to e3, and now bishop goes to f8. So uh, black supports his uh, a pawn. So we are in the uh, 10th move and uh, believe it or not Badur Yobova uh, had the same position on two previous occasions maybe here uh, White could simply try with uh, d5 avoiding this uh, exchange of the pawns in the center grabbing more space it would be totally solid option but in the game White plays Queen goes to b1 preparing Queen to a2 uh, supporting Bishop on c4 targeting this uh, weak f7 square so black immediately counterates with uh, e pawn captures on d4. Now this pawn on uh, e4 is uh, twice attacked, so uh, white has no other option but to capture with bishop, protecting this uh, e4 uh, pawn with uh, rook. And now uh, black uh, continues with knight goes to e5, targeting this defenseless bishop on c4 and also uh, threatening to capture knight on uh, f3. Uh, forcing white to double the pawns along the f5. Well, if white wants to continue his original plan, he has to grab this uh, knight. So let's see if uh, knight captures only five, uh, e d pawn recaptures, attacking this bishop. So uh, bishop has to move away, losing additional tempo, but white doesn't want to lose additional tempo. So white plays bishop captures on e5, uh, d pawn recaptures, white is on the move and plays uh, queen to a2, targeting this uh, pawn on f7. Of course, black cannot defend the bishop to uh, e6 because then uh, this uh, Pawn on e5 is without any defense, so black has no other option but to play queen to e7, further supporting this pawn on f7. And now white plays rook from a goes to d1, taking over this uh, the, the file. Black responds with c6, tar uh, targeting this uh, d5 square, preventing any unpleasant uh, knight to d5 jump. And now white plays a very interesting move. Knight goes to h4. Well, let's see. If black should play, let's say, a random move, a rook to b8, then knight to g6 is a very strong move. Black cannot uh, capture knight because his uh, pawn is pinned. And uh, white attacks both bishop and the queen. If black still wants to defend this f7 pawn, then queen would have to go to c7, but then knight captures on f8, king recaptures, and after king, queen to a3 is check. Well, let's see if king goes, let's say, to g8. Rook to d6, preparing uh, rook from e to d1, supporting the rook. But even if uh, black would, let's say, defend the check with the queen still, rook to d6, preparing to double the rooks along the d file. And uh, this would have been a strategical advantage for white, but it would not be a totally loss for black. Black would have a totally uh, fine game even afterwards. Okay, so let's go back to our game. In the game, black plays queen to c7, removing a queen from this uh, e7 square. Of course, now if white would try with knight to g6, black would uh, easily respond with a bishop to c4, targeting this uh, f2 uh, square. So, uh, in the game, white comes up with an another plan. Rook to e3 was played, preparing rook to f3. Well, when this uh, knight is gone, additional pressure on this uh, weak f7 square. So, uh, black has started to release the tension by playing bishop to e6 counter uh, acting on this uh, diagonal and of course white could have captured but uh, 
Whitehead decided to keep the tension rook from e goes to d3, doubling the rooks along the d5. Of course, uh, there aren't actually any uh, invasion square because uh, all squares are actually taken. And here in this position, maybe black could try to force white to trade the bishop by playing a b5, even if uh, a pawn captures, c pawn recapture, bishop cannot capture because then bishop captures queen. And uh, here white would have to catch a rook to recapture, the game would be roughly equal. In the game, however, black plays, king goes to h7, removing the queen from this uh, long diagonal. Maybe black was simply afraid of maybe, I don't know, knight to g6, and uh, then this uh, defender of uh, bishop on f6 would be removed, or maybe it's just, uh, or maybe it was just a waiting move. I don't know, actually. Why well, definitely would have to try with, let's say, knight to f3, putting pressure on this e5 square, because knight on h4 doesn't uh, actually have any bright future here. In the game, however, white makes a fatal blunder, knight to f5 was played, and black immediately grabbed the opportunity, bishop captures on f5, uh, e pawn recaptured, of course, this uh, pawn on f7 is double attack, but uh, black is on the move and plays e4, attacking rook on e3. Now, white has to remove uh, the rook somewhere, let's say, at, at uh, rook to e3, bishop would probably go to f8, targeting this uh, rook and then later trying to advance with the pawn, so white apparently didn't like it. In the game, rook uh, from uh, d3 uh, goes to d2, and now black plays e3, pushing this uh, e pawn even further, attacking rook on d2 and pawn on f2. Well, let's see, white can capture or not. If white doesn't capture, let's say if a rook goes to e2, simply uh, e, uh, e pawn captures on f2 check, I would have actually no, no other options but to uh, capture this uh, pawn somehow if uh, rook captures on uh, f2, bishop to uh, c5 and here a white gains an exchange. If however king captures on f2, still we have bishop to c5 after let's say king to f1, queen to f4 check, king uh, has no other option but to go to e2 and then queen to g3 check again if king goes back to f1, let's say king to f1, uh, this uh, rook is going to be captured and uh, there is threat of a checkmate here, f2, and here black is winning. If, however, king goes to d2, we have bishop to e3 check. If rook captures, queen recaptures, is checkmate. If, however, king goes to the only square, e3, we have bishop to f2, discover check, and now the only options is king to d2, queen to f for check. Uh, Rook defense and after queen to e3 is checkmate. So in the game, white has decided to capture the pawn, so f pawn captures on e3, and now bishop uh, black doesn't recapture immediately, but bishop goes to c5 for attacking this uh, pawn on e3. As if there's no point in defending because after rook uh, defend, let's say well, black still uh, captures a uh, bishop on e3 check, of course. King to f1 is very risky because of queen to f4 and after uh, king to h1, knight to uh, h5 preparing this uh, check. After king would go to h2, we would have discovered a check and all sort of tactics would come up. So in the game, white has decided to play king to h1 immediately and now black responds with rook to h3. Putting additional pressure on the white king. White plays bishop uh, to f7, captures this uh, pawn, trying to play bishop to g6, provides some counterplay here on the king side, but now black plays a spectacular move. Knight goes to g4, threatening with uh, queen to h2, checkmate. Well, let's see, of course, white can capture, but even if white tries, for example, g3, after then uh, queen captures, and after... Uh, White captures this knight, it's queen to h for check, and now the only options for uh, uh, white is to try rook to h2, but after uh, rook to h3, threatening with checkmate here on h2. Of course, white cannot capture because if white captured, queen captures its checkmate, and even if white defends with rook from d goes to uh, d2, defending this rook on h2, we have queen to e1 check after king to g2, rook to g3 checkmate. So in the game, white captures this knight uh, immediately, and now white, uh, sorry, black plays another spectacular move, rook to e1 check. 
course, queen uh, defend this uh, h2 square, so wh white has no other option but to play rook captures on e1, and what has uh, black done? Well, these two rooks are not connected anymore, and now black continues with queen to g3, threatening queen to h4, it would be checkmate, because this uh, g1 square is protected by the bishop. Of course, white tried with rook to d3, trying to provide this rook to h3 defense. Of course, black cannot capture immediately this uh, rook, because if a uh, queen captures immediately, we have a king to h2, and after bishop to g1, white king escapes to h3. So here in this position, black would have to play bishop to e, uh, d6, king cannot go to h3, because queen to g3 is checkmate, and after rook would capture now, Black could uh, save the draw by a perpetual check with queen to h4, king to g1, queen to e1, and so on. But black is not here for the draw. In the game, black plays queen to h4 check. Now let's see what white can do. Well, of course, g1 square is protected, so the only option for white is to play rook to h3, but now king to uh, h2 and h3 is no longer possible. In this position, black would simply capture rook on e1 after king to h2, the only move, bishop to g1, and now the only move is king to h1, bishop to f2 check, king to h2 and queen to g1, it would be checkmate. And realizing that all is lost, in this position, Eric Rosen resigned the game. So I hope you like this game, I hope you have learned something from it. If you have any questions, my email is below in the description. Of course, I invite you to visit my Instagram page. That's it for now, and see you soon.